Scotty McClure, 10 o'clock Saturday night, nothing gets past me, and welcome to the internet phone in, so much to talk about, and so little time to do it in. Come and join us, give us a call, especially as well, welcome on YouTube, subscribe and tap the bell if you've just joined us, and of course we're on uh, Facebook Live, we're on LinkedIn Live, and we're on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClure. That's what it's all about. Dinky do, I say to you. Night, who is calling? Hello, who's that? You're live on Scotty's for Hello? Uh, Dinky do, Scotty, how are you doing? Ah, Kareem, well done for getting through tonight. Excellent stuff. You just made it because another call came in, and I thought I'll answer this one. And it was me. And it was your good self. Absolutely, Kareem. Yes, indeed. And what's happening with you tonight? Nothing much. I'll make a wee quick call tonight because about I, I took up a lot of time last night. And yeah, well, I mean, it does take up a bit of time, but you're a very good caller and you've got something to say. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, and I think I think that's very important. You know, I mean, sometimes I can remember one of my producers, Kareem, and he said to uh, me, we've got so many calls, can we get through them a bit quicker? And I said, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's good to know. It's, uh, you know, it depends, it depends on the quality of the call. Yes, yes, absolutely. Now then. Well, I... I put a tag earlier on because I know about with the monarchy and that. that oh, yes. The Queen was in hospital. Yes. I get a little bit fed up with these half witted idiots. Yes. You know, it's the level of ignorance, Kareem. I mean, I wouldn't mind if they could mm -hmm. put a proper case for us not having the monarchy, but they can't. They've, been, they've had their heads stuffed with nonsense. You know, we must yeah. we must leave the monarchy alone. It's perfect. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I have no issues with it really at all. I just think, but you get these numpties that are obviously putting their own uh, uneducated opinion across. Yeah. Does yes. That make sense? <laughs> yes. No, it makes complete sense. It is their own uneducated opinion. I mean, they 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 call the royals parasites not realising that they bring in absolute fortunes. Yeah, no, they, they do contribute back to... You know, I just uh, said to one there, economy. I said, £2 billion direct to the Treasury, £98 million in tax, virtually self-financing. Where is any kind of parasite in that? No, I, 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 I agree with you, Scott. You know, and the other one right. is they get to live in palaces. Well, d uh -huh. does this person want to live in a palace? I certainly uh -huh. don't. Uh -huh. You but, know. But I think people forget that's what the royal, though, they're entitled to that. Uh -huh. You know, that, that, um, I think there's a lot of jealousy, like, well, look what they have and compare it to what they have. Really yeah, but they don't so understand it. another thing they were saying, that the Royals have never worked a day in their life. And I had to say to one guy, you would not last a week on the Queen's uh -huh. original schedules, far less uh -huh. the present one. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Do you know what I mean? They wouldn't last a week, 500 engagements a year. Well, if you think about, you know, 95 and still working, how many of them do they tire him? No, can't. no, some of them have never done a day's work in their life. That's what they're going on about to the royals. You know, they're, yeah. they're projecting themselves and their own lifestyle. You know, a yeah. guy even called me a deluded serf. Now, obviously, yeah. he feels that he's a deluded serf. Because yeah. I am neither yeah. deluded nor am I a serf. And I said to him, enjoy yeah. your bowing and scraping. Your private life is your own. Mm -hmm. He accused me of bowing and scraping. How are you bowing and scraping by telling the truth? <laughs> no, that's stating the facts. And some people don't like facts, Scotty. No, they just, they just don't like it. And that's it. I mean, I don't have anything one way or the other. I mean, for instance, if I thought the monarchy wasn't the best thing for Scotland, I would say, if I thought that independence wasn't the best thing for Scotland, I would say. Yeah. yeah. You know? I know. I mean, well, here's I, a guy called Kyle saying, I just taken our tax money. 
It's not taking any tax money from you at all, you halfwit. Have you watched The Crown? Queen watched 24-7. Absolutely, Jen Jim. Now we are talking. So there we are. There's a bit of feedback for you, Kareem. Yes, yes. Well, listen, Scotty, people need the facts, and if they don't like it, then that's that's their problem that is their, their problem, problem big time absolutely you know but i think it's a very interesting subject for discussion also somebody raised irish independence when we had about a minute to go last night yeah you know and it's well, not a subject you could cover in a minute yes there was a, a march today up the town i read very briefly um but it was to do i'm not too sure about it, it was <laughs> Something to do with the, it was to do with the union in Northern Ireland and all the problems. Right. You know, having a big, there was a big march, and someone you read the comments, but people were saying, "Why are they bringing their problems over to Glasgow, over to Scotland?" Yes, very, very strange. I suppose they think that's us going to the mainland because they're part of Britain, but in actual fact, you know, they've got their own country. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, that would be like us going and marching for independence in Trafalgar Square. Yes, it would mean nothing to the people of Trafalgar Square. Uh -huh. They would say, excuse me, are you, is, what's your flag? You say, this is Scotland. <laughs> oh, Scotland, all right. My auntie, she stayed near, where was it now, lovey? Yeah, Loch Lomond. <laughs> Loch, do you know Loch Lomond? Yeah, that's lovely, that is. Uh, so are you on holiday? And you've all got your flags? That's nice. Okay, all the best. And they would not yeah. have a clue what people were doing there. Mm -hmm. yeah. you know? Well, it, it does show you, I mean, as much as I love England, and always go there, there's quite a lot of people that are quite ignorant because they don't know the history of Scotland. Well, you, know, you, you don't, well, about. why should they though, Kareem? I mean, I was in London one time and I thought, why would somebody want to stay their whole life in London? And then I stopped and put my lace up in the curb to tie it, and it snapped. And I walked about, oh, I don't know, maybe 50 yards, and here was a, a Timpsons shop open to the street, and I said, excuse me, you wouldn't have anything for these. Yeah, the number six, there you go, 29 pence, thanks. And I thought, this is why you do it. Everything is to hand. What if my my lace had snapped in, in, in the sound of mull, you know? Mm -hmm. well, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I get what you mean, Scotty. So, but it's, uh, at the end of the day, what will be will be. I think that's my, my motto at the moment. I'm just uh, stepping back and letting things go. Kisara, sara, Karim, because I think we have to, because everything's kind of up in the air at the moment, you know? Correct. And to me, it's the build up as a, as a sports in the week to Christmas, and it's the time of year that I like the build up. I think it's it's nice. People do tend to be nicer to each other, um, and it's just nice seeing like the kids and all that just getting so excited. It's just a nice time of the year after everything that's what we've all been through. Here we go, Kareem. Phil has just told us it was a Northern Ireland protocol march. Right, but I still uh, wonder uh, what it was doing in Glasgow. You know what I mean? I didn't realise Glasgow was part of Northern Ireland, but I suppose you could say at the moment it's part of the UK. Uh -huh. I mean Glasgow. Yeah. yeah. You know? oh, well, I, I, I'm staying away from the city centre because of this co-op 26. The traffic I've noticed around about where I am today, like the main roads, were heaving, uh -huh. absolutely heaving, and I just think it's the build up. I think uh, I think there's going that. to be there's going to be challenges for commuters. There's no doubt. So for me, staying away, go the opposite direction um, and just keep programming. We'll probably have to leave about four in the morning to get to work. <laughs> well, I'm hopefully, I, I should avoid it. But yeah, again, that's me looking in logic. But there's other people that need to go to places that will probably cut through the places. Absolutely. Absolutely, so, Kareem. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, people, people like my good self. <laughs> I'll let you go. I might just say call later. If not, I'll speak to you Monday. Lovely to hear you. Thank you, Karim, and many blessings. Appreciate your call, La. All right. Bye-bye. Dinky do. ta -ra -ra. There we are. That's our Karim. Very interesting call. Lots of good reaction from you guys. Excellent stuff. 
Sorry for my absence, but caught the show on catch up. Sounds good. The shows are outstanding, Jerry. Just amazing. Right to the telephones. Get sharing, guys. You're live in Scottish phone in. Who's that? Merry Christmas and a happy new year. A happy new year to you, Martin. Merry Christmas when it comes. How are you getting on, La? Fine, fine, you, mate. Yes, wonderful. <laughs> What's happening? The thing is, I, I, have you been to um, Inverary Jail? Yeah, yes, I know it. They're not, not uh, on a professional capacity. I haven't even been locked up in it, but I know it very well. Yeah, what about um, Stirling Jail? Uh, no, I haven't been to that one. Mm. So, how's your, so, how's your, so how's your day been? Day outstanding, Martin. Absolutely fantastic. We did a lot of TikTok Live today. Yes, I saw that. I've been, I've been watching you all day. Yes, and a lot of YouTube as well. And of course, I spoke to you on the YouTube. Yes, correct. Yes, wonderful. Because we want to get everybody subscribing and tapping the bell for the phone ends. Uh -huh. There's a couple of other shows that I was going to mention last night. Uh -huh. There's a show called um, Bramwell. Oh yes, Bramwell. Yes, I remember that one. Do you remember um, um, Casualty in Hobie City? Hobie City and Casualty, yes. I've, I'm familiar with them both. Yes. They are based in um, the television centre in London. Have yes. you been there? Yes, I have. Yes, absolutely. So have you have you been on any of the um, Children in Need um, broadcasting like when... Um, that um, charity, the one up at, um, that happens every November. Uh, not for a long yeah. time. I used to do a lot of uh, children in need stuff, uh, especially when I was with Scott FM. I would go up and uh, and join them. Uh huh. How does the um, how does the um, Go Me Fund work? How does the the Go Fund Me for Scotty McClure? Uh huh. Yes, you just go on to it, and if you want to give something, uh, you know, a pound or something like that to try out, then it'll tell you how to do it. It comes up, donate. Two. So Two. you go to gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. But you'll see it on the Facebook. You'll see it on the Twitter. You you can put it into to a search engine, and it'll just come up. GoFundMe Scotty McClue. Two. So, so what have you been up to today apart, um, apart from going live today? Uh, a day of domesticity, Martin. Have you? Nice. Yes. So there you are, tidying the house. Hi, Scotty. Hello. How are you, lovey? Thank you, do. Thank you, do to you. Thank you, do to you. Excellent. Martin will catch up soon. And thank you, do, la. Thank you, love you a lot. Bye. Love you a lot. -la -la. There we are. That's Martin. Now then, what have we got here? Susan, finishing your sentences for you. Hi, Scotty. Thank you, This is the wonderful Paul Crutchanks. Thank you, Paul. Can we get a wee tune in the squeeze box? James, I promised you I would fetch it up, and I haven't got it with me. Well, maybe we have to have an interlude and put on the potter's wheel or the kitten with the ball of wool. Does anybody remember that? Can anybody go that far back? Dee Goodley says the royals bring in millions in tourism. They do indeed, Dee. You're spot on. There we are. Fantastic stuff. Now, everybody's having a wee chat with themselves. No point in me reading any of that. Neil O'Gormley. Hello, Scotty. Hope you're well. Hi, Neil. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do. As James says, good evening, Lord McClue. Do you prefer French toast or scrambled egg? Both. I would have both if I was staying in a hotel. I would have a bit of eggy bread or French toast, as you so rightly call it. And then I would have a wee spoonful of scrambled egg as well, maybe on it. There's the wonderful Murray O'Donnell. They bring in far more money than they cost. They do, Murray. You're 100%. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? It's Jerry. Jerry. How are you, Jerry? How are you? Very good. How here's you, Jerry. Here's somebody sending the dinkiest of do's from Cajun country way down in the Bayou. In uh, isn't that oh, fantastic? That's that's where the Cajun chicken comes from. Cajun chicken and the Cajun fiddle. Yeah, 
Hey, nay, 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 nay. Oh, that stuff, absolutely. Isn't that oh. beautiful? We are truly international, Jerry. Oh, we're far out, aren't we? We are far out, man. I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> well, those funny facts as well. I pure am. I pure am, bro. <laughs> Brilliant. This, is pure, this is pure heavy quality. Oh, especially with the big facts. Um, I tried your, your wee chat last night. Oh. Your doctor, doctor, doctor. Oh, doctor, doctor, yes. Talking to <laughs> David about pulmonary. Uh, uh, yes. Oh, it was good. It was really good because uh, I just, just put some Vic on. And you know, like, he is. <laughs> yes, absolutely. <laughs> we know what he's like. Absolutely. Also, I enjoyed your Lou Grade impressions with that big cigar. I Lou, yes. I think as much as you could give me. <laughs> oh, he's good. Was he was a wonderful good. man, Lou Grade, because he was a great showman. And he, he made a movie called Raise the Titanic, and he said it would have been cheaper to drain the Atlantic. <laughs> was, he, was he Jewish? He was, uh, yes, his name was actually... Um, Lou Vinogradsky. Oh, and right. uh, yes, and, and, and he'd come over here and he changed his name to Greed. Was he uh, born in Britain? Was he brought over uh, as a kid? I'm not sure about I think he sure? I think he was brought over actually. Really? Uh, yes, I wonderful must, man. Uh, and he used to I, dance, I, he used to dance the Charleston, and at 80 he wrote a book called Still Dancing. And I saw him interviewed on the telly. I can't remember who it was with, whether it was Michael Parkinson or Michael Aspel. One of these uh, big Saturday night interviews, and he did the Charleston at 80 live on the telly. That's amazing. Isn't it? Now, that man used to go to his work at 5 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, I must read definitely. Oh, must wonderful. I mean, the it's wonderful people. There's a wonderful book by Jack Tinker called The Television Barons. And most of my right. old bosses are mentioned in it. And I was fortunate enough to know these people. And I didn't get to meet Lou, but somebody said, if Lou Grade was alive today, Scotty McClure would never be off our television screens. And uh, as well. yeah, he, right. um, I worked with a lot of people who knew him very well. I, you mentioned that uh, he was uh, in charge of programs like the Sane, the Baron, Man, uh, Man in a Suitcase. I, ITC, ITC films, Randall and Hopkirk, Deceased, all That's the stuff right. we used to watch on a Sunday, The Champions. Right. You know, think, The Baron, do you remember The Baron? I remember The Baron, Steve, Steve, what was his name? Oh, I know exactly yeah, what you mean, Steve. yes. Uh, he was the know, Baron. Know, and the know, champions, know, Alexandra uh, the Bastido. Champions. Remember all the theme tunes you had to the, those programs the way back? A Fireball XL5. I mean, I don't know if you're uh, old enough yes. to remember that. Uh, yep. And uh, Stingray, Stingray. Uh, yes, yeah, Stingray on a Sunday afternoon with Marina and Troy and Phones. Uh, you Joe 90, Captain, Captain Scarlet right. and the Mysterians, Thunderbirds, Thunderbirds, Thunderbirds are go. Okay, Dad, um, thanks, Virgil. Well, but, uh, why not introduce, as you do your Doctor Doctor piece, and do, remember the German Doctor on television? Uh, what was her name? Do you remember? Doctor, she's a wee tiny woman. Oh, oh yes, I do remember. Yes, I can't oh, mind. What was her name? I can't mind. I is couldn't it, tell you. Is it Doctor Ruth? Doctor Ruth. Ruth yeah. That's the way she spoke. Doctor Ruth. <laughs> so give us a, a rendition of uh, how's your lungs work in German. Yes, I might <laughs> just do that. Yes, yes, your your lungen, your lungen. <laughs> Oh, absolutely good. It was really good, but because um, once I put my Vic on, I was as happy as Larry. You and your Vic, you take care of yourself. And you. Dinky do, Jerry. There we are. That's yeah. our Jerry. What a fine fellow. Uh, quality chat. 
Um, hi, Jerry. Hope you're okay. So poor old Jerry's uh, clearing his chest there. The job they do is phenomenal, says Murray O'Donnell. Absolutely, Murray. I say God save the Queen regardless of your background, your race, your creed. Your religion, she is our queen. We even get the odd half-wit going, she's no mad queen. Yes, newsflash, she is. There we are. To the telephones. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who is that? Thank you, know, Scott. Ah, how are you getting on, Glenn? I'm good, you. Yeah, wonderful. Great phone in tonight. Yeah, definitely. You know, I just, I mean, last night was just mind-blowing. Was, yeah. A guy says, please watch, do the rest of the live in a Geordie did, accent. Did you watch the production of Curry last night? The what? Sorry again, Glenn? The Coronation Street episode last night. No, I, I, it's gone into one of these that's too much for me. They're mainly down an old sewer. Are you, are you going to follow it? Uh... No, no, no. I can't take too much of that. I like the sort of chat in the pub and things like that. I like yeah. the comedy. I liked yeah. Bet Lynch and Alec Gilroy. I liked okay. Bill Tarmy and Whoa. Betty. Hello, Betty. Love, how are you? Scotty, do you think it's going to be dark then, to be honest? Yes, it's all very dark, the whole thing. It's too much. It's too dark for me. Yeah. You know, and it's the same. I, I mean, yeah. I wouldn't like to buy a house in Emmerdale Village these days. There was a plane crash a few years ago. Yeah, the plane crash just about wiped half the cast out. Yeah, I think um, it's not what it used to be, is it, then? Well, I, 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 I like just a bit of, you know, the old pipe smoking in the pub and all that. Yeah, well, I think it, they've turned it more film-like, haven't they? You know, no Mr. More... Mr. Wilkes. Hey, yeah, that I bacon's think. a bit salty. I think they're, they're just trying, I think they're trying to join a new audience. Well, I think, I think yes. I mean, they, they need to be very, very big all the time, and the actors are outstanding. I mean, absolutely yeah, outstanding. Yeah. But they need to be doing something all the time. Uh, and they need I to think. be shocking all the time, you know. And and that's yeah, that's the problem. So you're not just getting a tale of everyday folk. That's how it used no, to be not. built. When, when it first started, when all these dramas first Hey, Glenn, started, hang on a second. Started. On the TikTok, I've got a lady called Jen, hello, going, Notice me! So I've noticed you, Jen. Okay, sorry about that, Glenn. I was just noticing I, I Jen. Think, I think, like I said, I think it's to draw a, a younger audience. I think. Well, they're desperately like trying to get a younger audience because if you say to young people, "What did you think of Energy last night?" They go, "Yeah." Oh, wait a minute! I've seen that at my nan's. Yeah. You see, so that's your problem. Same with local radio desperately yeah. trying everything to get the youngsters because if you were an original local radio person you started mm -hmm. listening 50 years ago so you're going to be at least so, 65. so that's the unique selling point right? the usp yeah definitely to go yeah, with your kpis uh, is that where the more mature audience are coming yeah up and you're wanting to record. report to the major stakeholders yeah you know what Why people go about holding stakes, I don't know. Scotty, what would you say the production teams like then now with these more modern stories? Oh, fantastic. I mean, no, they'll be, I yeah. mean, the professionalism is outstanding. I'm just we saying that there's obviously pressure to to change the whole feel yeah. of it. So does it really <laughs> reflect real life? And sometimes that's when viewing figures drop, in it? Well, yes, of course, they can just plumb it yeah. like that. I mean, I mean, I remember when they wanted to modernise and get rid of Scotty McClue. They ended up having yeah. to sell the station. You'll, you'll never do that. That'll never <laughs> happen, will it? You see, and because because the I previous mean, boss said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I mean, back in the back in ninety, I'm sounding old now, but back in nineties and that. Uh, you were limited to a few channels on what you can get now, were you? Yeah. Glenn. When I first saw yeah. television, we had a set and you could only get one channel. And yeah. that was called BBC TV. Right. BBC television. Now, upstairs, yeah. the lady could get the new ITV. 
So we sometimes went up to watch that. When I first saw that, it would be maybe a couple of years old, you know? I mean, from a, a younger perspective, then would you say they can still catch up on it from YouTube and archives? And yeah, you can do a bit of that. But if you're wanting a young audience, they've gone. So all you're going to yeah. do is lose your, your, your core audience, your older people. Yeah because they're going to get fed up with it. You see, I can remember when commercial television went 24 hours a day, because we used to close down at night, any time yeah. between like quarter to 12 and, and half one in the morning. And, uh, you know, we would we would close down for the night. We'd say, well, now we're closing you, you down. Think, All that now. You don't think, Go on. You don't think it were better than... Than it is now, yes, it was much better, better then. Then they went yeah. 24 hours and they thought, yeah, let's uh, let's get some real banging tunes on here to attract the young people who are up at night with a few tinnies and a fag. And the truth was, it was just yeah. the elderly pensioners who were insomniacs that were watching. Mm -hmm. So they would have been better putting on black and white films. It's a muchness of the muchness now, though, really, with everything what's on Well, everything, now. I went through the whole lot today and there was nothing to yeah. watch. And I've got something like 200 yeah. channels. Sometimes, sometimes there's nothing to watch and too many channels, like you said. It's like... Well, you see, Glenn, I was a child of television. I spent yeah. any spare moments I had watching television i can remember hearing stories about a child at school who was suffering a bit of neglect because mother was a television addict yeah you see so things like that nowadays it's quite good that uh, we're moving but the thing is we're going on our phones i think it's too much of a too much of a, a thing than into it really these days well how often is a kid saying mum what's for tea and she's going yeah. Mm -hmm. She's on her phone, and I mean, she's scrolling. Series. If if you if you were going to watch a, a series when when they were on TV, Glenn, the, here's a guy here. Box, Glenn, then. listen to this. Here's yeah. Betty, Betty Joe, who's brilliant. Was watching the telly there, but thought it's crap. Let's go and listen yeah. to Scotty instead. So there's a lady yeah. converted from television to watching the internet phone in. Yeah, definitely. Because we'll give you be think, better quality chat. It's too, like I said, Scott, there's too much variety these days, isn't there, to be honest? Glenn, they want to know if you're out of still game. <laughs> is that, that's a compliment, then, Scott. Well, I would think so, yeah. Absolutely, they're asking. Yeah. And there's somebody, there's Mummy Paws. We don't have a telly, she says. Can't hear a word of that. You must have been talking underwater. <laughs> Shall we revamp still game then, Scott? Yeah, yeah, Shall it's still game. game. You and me, we're still game. Glad yeah. I've got a dash. Well, Lovely to hear you. Well, Scott, you're Rob C. Nesbitt. Yes, Scott, yes. I've got a dash, lie. You take great nice care. Scott, Love you lots. Dinky well, do. Top Thank man. You. That's our Glenn. There he goes. Fantastic stuff. Right, a wee cake and a cup of tea, says Murray. Good idea, the kettle's whistling. What tune is it whistling, I say to you? To the telephones as quickly as possible. If you've just joined us on TikTok, then lovely to have you with us, my beautiful TikTokers. Fantastic. Follow us as soon as you can. How long's a piece of string? It's, um, it's half... The end to the center. Sorry, it's twice the end to the center. Is that right? Something like that. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello, do you speak? Hello? Ah, a non-verbal caller. Amazing. There we are. Right, we'll let you go. There we are. Off you pop. Spare your blushes. It might be a guy that told me today live that he'd phoned, but his bottle went. Never, ever worry about that, guys. Glenn, always so polite and down to earth. Cheers, son. Absolutely, Jerry. They shot themselves in the foot, Scotty. Remember, you nearly brought the network down. We did, Andrew. And uh, what's the best Christmas movie ever made? I would suggest It's a Wonderful Life with Jimmy Stewart, one of Hollywood's finest actors. I would agree. 
You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who is that? Hello? Hello? Do you speak? Non-verbal caller. Fantastic. We love it. There we are. They're the best, actually, because they're not going to give you any cheek. I tell you, fantastic. Now, I had to make omelets this morning. 27 eggs. I had to get rid of some of them. How many of you were there, Suzanne? I take it you didn't have 27 eggs yourself. There we are. Fantastic. Now, what have we got here? Happy 45th. Yes, indeed. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Hello. Hi, Scotty. I'm getting my second call in. Oh, Glenn, you're just off. Yeah, definitely. On and off, definitely. Somebody's <laughs> just said that you're a top man. Nice one, Jerry. Yeah. These um, these callers will just bring up, I think it's just uh, they're in awe of listening to your voice, guy. They're just starstruck. Well, they shouldn't be, Glenn. They should come on and just go, hello, and then we could take it doing? from there. How you doing? And all that. Yeah, how you doing? And a little bit of chit chat. I mean, just. You know, just have a decent chit chat. It's not like you're gonna bite the reds off, is it? No, it's very good of you to actually say that, Glenn. Very much yeah, appreciated. Here's Lee saying, I can't believe you're not on the radio. Any sign yeah, of you coming are. back to the radio, says T Mock. Would you, do you prefer it like this than now, Scotty? Or, or well, what we're doing right yeah. now. Well, yes, yeah. I mean, obviously, I don't get paid for it, but it doesn't matter because it's yeah. interesting, you know. And I think we're building something very special. You know, you know, like two hours on the radio, and well, no, and and, and, and the other you, thing you is, enjoyed it. well, I loved the radio to bits, of course, yeah. but I didn't like the half wits that come and sack you when they don't understand what you do. You just like the half wit callers who used to ring you up and give you a bit of grief. Scott. Oh, we yeah. like them. We like them. That's different. Yeah, you see, that. Scotty McClure has a great relationship with his audiences. Just not a problem. The half wits were brilliant, Scotty, weren't they? We like the half wits. Tell ten to tell ten to tell ten, says Lee. When, when you used to give them all the jibber jabber and. Listen to and Demo all. here goes, lol, bitter. Demo, the very, very last thing Scotty McClure ever is, is bitter. And every single listener will back me up. I have no bitterness, I have no anger, I have nothing to be bitter or angry about. He needs to, he needs to get on the phone and confront you. Yeah, this that. demo, where's he getting that from? He's obviously bitter himself, and he's trying yeah, to project him. that. You'll hear him out on radio and phone, won't you, if he phones you? Yeah, yeah, he should come and phone us and, and come out with that. Uh, so no lol bitter at all, <laughs> demo. Scotty, your voice it's helped weird. thousands through bad times. What about it's that? Keyboard warriors out there, Scott. Yeah. There. Yeah. There's Demo. Well, you've just proven it. What a half wit. The same, there we are. In what way did I did I prove it, Demo? They, they can type how many characters in whatever, and it doesn't mean nothing, does it? No, nah, nothing at all. I mean, we don't know who what? this guy is. We'll dump him down this one in a minute. Yeah, it'll, it'll Scotty McCrew, bitter. You'll box or somebody next, Scotty, or whatever. You what, love? He'll probably come up and as Joe Bloggs or whoever next one. Yes, be. absolutely. Getting and defensive, the, the, says Demo. The trolls, that's what they are, aren't they, to be honest? Yes. Chris says, never I'm bitterness in. at all, not one bit. He's had a one in a million career. Absolutely. Yeah, no problem yeah. at all. It's, it's too much jealousy out there, I think. Yeah, too many problems out there. That's That's the problem with it, isn't it? He's trying to he's yeah. trying to get a little swing on Scotty's coattails. Your back's still broad for that, isn't it? Oh, I we don't bother with that. I'll just send yeah. him down the Swanee. Straight down Swanee Square. Yes, down the Swanee with him. Scotty, I like when old Yorkshire accent and all that comes out with you though. Aye, that'll and come back it. light when we get into oh. Yorkshire. That'll be day I've had to that. I've had to put my Yorkshire accent on old like, you know. That'll be days, that'll be days, Scotty, you know that man. You know what I'm saying, lad? You know what I'm saying, you know lad? You know what I'm saying, lad? I'll tell you, you need a Spear and Jackson number four for that. <laughs> 
Half of them don't know how to work a mower, you know. I love that. That's Yorkshire chat, isn't it? Brilliant. What type of bus, Jim? Half of them, half of them couldn't use a scythe. What type of bus, comrade? Well, why? What times bus, love? Do you know? Oh, I've been waiting here. I've been, how long have you been waiting? I've been waiting half an hour, love. I go. I went into the shop, and when I came back, there still wasn't one. In pouring red. Brilliant stuff. With your snap tin under your arm. Have you had one or two Yorkshiremen in Scotland, this guy? Oh yes, absolutely. But they tend to stick to Yorkshire. I mean, yeah. why would you leave Yorkshire? Although every yeah, Yorkshireman I spoke to, they were saying. Ah, I'm thinking in retiring like Scotty. I say, where would you go? Yeah, hey, I, might, I might go up to Scotland. The old lads are the best of all, aren't they? They always give it that. I might go up to Scotland. Yeah. But they never do. Yeah. I mean, you've seen Kez, haven't you, Sky? Yeah. Brilliant film. Yeah, absolute Kez. Beautiful. Yeah, fantastic. So, uh, Brassed off. Brassed off. Oh, Brassed off. I'm in love yeah. with. Do you know, do you know one of the lines, I mean, of the many millions of lines I love on it, when he comes up and he goes, so I'm not accepting the trophy. And they went up yeah. and they went, give us that. And he goes, I thought he weren't accepting it. He says, don't be bloody soft. Yeah, but people for work and all that, yeah. <laughs> Full Monty Scott, eh? I love that. They come up, all right, soft lad. <laughs> yeah. I just like the originality of it, you know, you know, the pure country and everything, you know. That hey, it just Glenn, I'll tell you what I've just discovered. Here's somebody telling me Arran, which is a beautiful island uh, on the west coast of Scotland in the middle of the Firth um, of Clyde. Huge, huge yeah. island, beautiful. And um, he's saying Arran is little Yorkshire. So apparently uh, a lot of Yorkshire people must have retired to Arran. Oh, nice one. Nice one, eh? We like that. It's beautiful. I mean, Scotland, Scotland and Yorkshire and everywhere all over. It's got some beautiful countryside, don't we? Between oh, them. lovely. But Yorkshire, yeah. I mean, takes some beating. I mean, I used to come out my house in Yorkshire, turn the corner and just see a view that you could just die for. I bet you took lots of pictures, Scotty. Oh, I've still got them all, you know. Yeah. And, I st and I do look at them. And they go, oh, that's yeah. pure people. I show people, I say, this was, uh, they go, that's, where's that? I says, that's my front garden in Yorkshire. Yeah. You, you're, a, you're an honorary Scott, Yorkshireman. Honorary right? Yorkshireman, the only one in the world. They wouldn't have yeah, anybody yeah. else. The, the accent is just brilliant. Somebody said, I think we're making Scotty an honorary Yorkshireman. Is everybody all right with that, eh? The they the went, aye, 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 that's, that'll do. That'll do for me. Accent. There'll be a production team on some of getting this old setup, guys. Trust me. Fantastic. Glenn, you've got Dev got the same voice as the guy who ran the B and B. It's still game. Nice. Oh, nice one. <laughs> Brassed off with oh, Grimethorpe oh. Colliery Band still going strong. Aiden, yeah. send Grimethorpe Colliery Band my love. They're fabulous. The old tunes and the old institution were just Hey, Glenn, can I tell you a beautiful story? You will not believe yeah. this. This is absolutely true. When I was working in Lancashire, we filled the Guildhall in Preston for the brass bands. Yeah. Brass band concert. And the conductor, very famous. I won't, I won't mention him, but very famous, lovely man. And yeah. um, I, at the interval, I uh, spoke to him. And I said, can I just thank you for your wonderful work? He said, oh, thank you very much. Usual yeah. humility from brass band conductors. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. And he was outstanding. I mean, this was top band. And then he said, yeah. what do you do yourself? I said, well, the radio station, I said, we've been helping to make sure that the hall was all fully sold tonight. You know, he goes, oh, that's great. He says, are you, are you a manager? I said, well, no, I, I said, I do a bit of on air. He went, oh, are you a DJ? I said, well, no, I do a kind of talk show at night. He went, Scotty McClue. <laughs> and he calls his wife over and he goes, love, come, you'll never guess who I've got here. Now, I was just so humbled by that. This is a real, real top bandmaster. And he knows Scotty McClue. Yeah. He says, I listen every night on the way back from practice. 
your head's never, you, you've always been grounded, aren't you, Sky? Well, you've got to be, Glenn, or the people would soon sort that. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, definitely. I think, yeah. I think it's credit. Will do That's was the conductor's that. initials R E Aiden. Harrogate, you're too it's sharp. A massive, it's a massive credit to you, though, as a person. No, but not at all, Glenn. I mean, you know, you, you, you've yeah. taught us all a lesson as well. Hey, it's, you're a credit to, to us all. You're, a, you're, you're an absolute top man. And listen, nice one, we shall catch up again tomorrow. Bless you. Are you on to, you're not on tomorrow? Oh, right? I'm not on tomorrow. I forgot me saying there. Uh, yeah, that's oh, you. No, you're trying to you're trying to blow smoke here. I'm trying, <laughs> I'm trying to pull you from back there, Scotty. Uh, yeah, you, you had us believe it was on tomorrow. You, you, like, you like I said, you can't get so much of a good thing, can you? Oh, Glenn, what yeah, are you, you like, Lala? La? All these phone calls that we have, sir. Yeah. Imagine a one-to-one -one conversation with you each other talking on a youtube oh. channel well listen they're all at it in the chat yeah. i can't get on the chat for them all chatting it's just brilliant stuff they're all chatting to each other i can't i've got to look to see if i'm allowed in to where? <laughs> you, you can't keep it it's flowing then it's just it's just riveting it's just out of this world anyway dinky do lala all the best <laughs> thanks it. glenn the, take it easy big man take it easy lala top man that's glenn fantastic stuff he got his second call in. I'm dressed in Japanese tonight. D, thought you were sleeping in front of the fire. Do you think Prince William will become king instead of his father Charles, or is this not allowed? Absolutely not. No, 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 no. Prince Charles next, then Prince William. Yes. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? Hello? Another, we soul too frightened to talk. Why ring if you're not going to speak, poor things? There we go. Uh, Dee's enjoying that wonderful stuff. Right, uh, to the telephones. We've got a lot to get through tonight. We've been talking about how wonderful the monarchy actually is and how there's never, ever, ever a problem with the monarchy. I don't understand where these half-wits come from. Hello, your life has got his phone in. Who's that? Hello? Right, hold on a wee second. What I'll do, guys, uh, just in case this is one of these that ring you up, I'll ban them. Uh, there we go. Just cancel that. And that there. Fantastic. Just give me a second, guys. Just going to do a little bit of banning. And that's uh, that puts a stop to that kind of nonsense, if you get my meaning. Fantastic. So what was that one? Yep, that's the end of that. Right. Who have we got here? You're live in Scotty's phone in. Who's that? That was Scotty David. David, how lovely to hear you. How are you, Scott? I was trying on my phone about uh, five times. There's been a problem. No, there's not a problem. We're just stuffed out the door with collars. Is that what it is? So I think it goes. I think it goes in a, a queue. Oh, right. I, 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 you kept saying hello, and you can hear my voice. You know, but anyway. I'm All like, right. You know. Was that? Was that you? Yes. I ah, well, yes. For, there was a problem. Must have been a problem at your end then. Well, if you'll pardon the expression. It's really, I mean, obviously, I was doing, I was doing, I was doing hello. Well, I hope I haven't that. banned you because I've just banned somebody there. Right. Maybe they banned me by accident. I don't really know. I hope not. No, you wouldn't have got through if I'd banned you. Right. Well, then you go somewhere. Is it a gremlin or something? There might be just a wee gremlin, Davy. Yes, absolutely. Uh, I'll just check that I haven't banned you. Right. Just check your, check your machines, make sure it's okay. Yes, does right. your number end in a three? My number, hold on, I'm, I'm a, John, does my number end in a three? Like, three nine zero. Yes, that's okay, no problem at all yet. You don't need to give out too much, but that's fine. But John, four nine zero Scottish. Oh, no, no, that's absolutely fine, no problem at all. I think we're laughing. 
Mate, that's good. <laughs> anyway, day, oh, how much is that accomplishing you like this, you know? <laughs> now, David, that call of yours was outstanding last night, and I've put it up on the TikTok and the YouTube. Yeah, that's good. So that's wonderful. so there you are. So you can hear it any time you like. That's, that's amazing. I, I love. I like. I love. I like me, Glenn. I mean, he got his set. Your first call in after after that. Get your second call straight away. I straight and away. I, I thought that I was like, a bit strange, but uh, but he's a great guy. Here, what about this, no, David? Okay. It's, not, it's not strange. It's wonderful. Do you know what I mean? You it, know. It was no. It was marvelous. It was just a bit strange. I'm going off and coming back on. Here's a uh, guy. Yeah. Wait, you hear this? Uh, what are you on? Says Dominic. Yes, yes. And I've just told oh. him I am on TikTok. What are these people about? They're what just daft. Oh, Here's Bungalow That's Bill saying it. Fisk a mask, Scotty. Oh, did, 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 I mean, but what are you on? Do you know what I mean? Oh, just. They're just <laughs> daft. They're absolutely bananas. They, 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 they judge other people by their own lifestyle. I know. It's, it's, you know? it's stupid. I mean, do you get us all the time? Do you know what I mean? And again, I can I miss your first five minutes. I heard Kim speaking, I think. Why? Because I, I, I had friends in. I couldn't get time on my own. No, own don't you worry, going, David. You know? It's never a problem. I know you are there and you are with us. And things are yeah. about to go very big, I can tell you. Do you know that that yeah. little TikTok, yeah, Oh, no, no, on call. Ah, I see, Dominic didn't mean what you on. He meant what number are you on? That's, we'll forgive him, we'll forgive him. Dominic, if you go to my TikTok bio, just below it, you'll yeah. see the YouTube link. Go on to the YouTube channel, subscribe and tap the bell. That's it. That's it. Dominic, 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 phone up, Scotty. Yes. Yes, phone us up. Phones now. Yeah. What about what about this? Wait, you hear this? Wait, here's somebody else. Nearly everyone I know has terrible signals on their phones. Phone calls are thirty minutes of hello. <laughs> uh, do you not remember? Do you not remember the old phone? And it would maybe go on a train, and you'd hear the guy go, "Oh, I love, yep, yeah, yep." Yeah. Any messages for us? Well, not nothing at all. Oh, all right, love. It was all that. My mum my mum used to have an old fashioned phone for the films. Do you remember the old times? The old films? She had a sixties and fifties phone. Do you remember all the ones? Oh, they were amazing. The great big uh, Vulcanite one. It was white and gold. Oh, white and gold. And do you remember? Oh, I know the kind, yes, sat up in the big receiver. It was, uh, yes, it was amazing, my mum. Yeah, and she, was it Onyx? She would have Onyx. Did she have an Onyx table? Well, yes, yes. That was the thing. You sat the phone on the Onyx table and it looked very swish. She was on every night, really, really fashionable. People thought they were coming into your palace when you went into that. She'd pick it up, I put her dress on and sit in there and speak to her friends. Lovely. Ah, bless her. Bless her. Before we go, Martin yes. called in last uh, Martin called in last night. Yes. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Mac. Yes, Mrs. Mac. Yeah. I've got a friend called Timothy Redmond who was an orchestra performer. Yes, wonderful. We'll not go into mentioning names, my, David though. Okay. Yeah. He's one of my sugar daddies. Absolutely. Daddy. Fantastic. But we'll not we'll not go into all that. But we do say okay. thank you and bless him. Yeah, yes. And he was a good friend of Mrs. Mac, you know, he's a great orchestra guy. Oh, he wonderful. Passed away in 2003, you know. I love it. I love it. Absolutely. And, Sorry about that, David. It's just we tend not to do the names of others. That's fine. That's okay. You know, yeah, it's good. I uh, but, I, but I know what you mean because we are worldwide, you know. Yeah, 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 it's, of course. It's that sort of carry on. I mean, we are worldwide. We've just been talking to America there, you know. There's Chris on I from mean, America. I, I'm glad it's getting really superb. You're oh. getting new people phoning in. We're getting oh, new guys. people, yeah, but we love our we love our colours as well. Oh yes, you know. It's, 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 it's better on it's better on here than on the tranny. I right? don't. I okay. think it is actually, David. I think it's a uh, lot better. And I'll tell you something. And I think we get a much better caller. 
Right. Well, nobody's going to come in and suddenly sack us, you know. Yeah, we kind of sack you. Now she's going to continue, and it's wonderful. Uh, again, the people's coming in. I'm just listening. Oh. It's superb. You know, love it. That's it. And you know, thank you that's for it. all your support and all your superb calls. No problem, my son, my I son. Think he'd do, my <laughs> son, my son. You're a top man. Yeah, my son. Lots of love to you and John. Think you do, Lala. Thank you, Scotty. Lala, good night. See night, you. Night, night, Lala. Bye. There we are. That's Lala, Davey. Bye, bye. Top man. <laughs> we love it. There he goes. Right, guys, to the telephones as soon as possible. Uh, what have we got? Andrew Downey wants permission to land. Yes, thank you, pilot. If you come into runway 0303 and touch down in your own time. Finals. Minimums. Minimums. Oh, gosh. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Another one? Here we go again. Hello, you're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello? 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 Hello, Scotty. Yes. Yes, it's Neil here. From Neil. Neil, how lovely to hear you. Yeah, first time I've found you on your website. I'm so uh, glad. This is wonderful. Yeah, I've been watching most of the shows most nights. What do you I think, Neil? Because you. you're a professional. Oh, it's excellent. You're enjoying it. Yes. Oh, yes, definitely. Uh, as you said earlier, there's no one can come in and uh, fire you from no, your job. No, you can't get fired but, once you've built up a big audience. Exactly. Well, uh, you're speaking about uh, TV programs and whatnot earlier on. Yes. Uh, what do you think of the soap River City? Oh, I love it. I wouldn't mind a wee I, part in it. I think you would do well in that. I, I wanted to be a baddie, somebody that Lenny Murdoch's frightened of. Find someone like that. You know what I mean? Well, Lenny's the king. <laughs> Lenny is the king. Do you know what I mean? Uh, Lenny is royalty, but I'm pretty sure they would have found a part for you. Oh, no, that means something would be good. Yeah. Uh, did you ever know the lovely lady, Valerie Dunbar? Yes, very much so. And sadly, Valerie passed away. But I used to, yeah. I've, I've got a lovely recording of Valerie called. Always Argyle. Right, yeah, yeah. And I, sometimes, I, I and Neil, to be honest with you, when I used to do the Clyde Cayley, performers yeah. would quite often write to me just a wee note on their private note paper and say, Scotty, uh -huh. just to say thank you so much for playing my songs. Because I would That's search right, out right. a lot yeah. of the older stuff and and, yeah. and and give it a good bit of airtime, you know. Yeah, well, I was uh, at the Millennium. Uh, I was working up the West Coast hotels uh, for a certain company. Yes. And uh, I'd actually booked her, speaking to Valerie, I booked her for one of the hotels. Yes. Uh, for the Millennium. But unfortunately, she passed away. So sorry and to hear that. A lovely, lovely singer yeah, and yeah, a lovely person. Yeah. And the person that told me, was uh, one of the Alexander brothers. They ah, them and asked them. yes. I think it was uh, Tom and Jack. They were great uh, as well. Loved them. Oh, yeah. yeah. They're, they're both gone now, aren't they? They're, they're, um, and are they both gone? I know one has gone. Uh, and I know Kenneth McKellar's away, and I just missed his memorial service. I was on yes. air at the time, which Kenneth would have appreciated. And I raced yes. to Paisley Abbey, and I went in, and it was uh, empty. And I said to a lady, I said, she said, can I help you? I said, I, Kenneth McKellar's memorial service. She said it was this morning. Oh, dear, you missed it. I missed it. But That's Kenneth right. would have understood being on air, you know? Yeah, well, it was a good Paisley man, like I am. Yes, and Kenneth man. was a director of Radio Clyde. Was he indeed? I didn't know that. Yes, yes, he was. Absolutely. 
Yes, the director of Radio Clyde, great man. Ah, well, R.I.P. to Valerie Dunbar. R.I.P. to Valerie Dunbar. And thank you for coming on, Neil. I hope this will be the first of many calls and we can swap tales. I guarantee I'm not usually at home on a Saturday. I'm usually out playing my guitar. You're out there. digging. But, but I've uh, got a wee night off tonight. I, I love it. Scotty, I call. Yes, keep it going, Neil. We guys will stick together. Better believe it. Keep up the good work. God bless you, sir, and good luck to you, dinky-doo. Right. Good night. God bless. Night, night, Bye. Neil. God bless you. There, that's a top, top, top musician. Lovely stuff. And uh, he is down south, Neil O'Gormley. Uh, there we go. What do we got here? Lots of lovely things. Tried to phone you, Scotty. Ah, Thomas, you should be able to. When I lived in Gurick, the lady upstairs from us was Richard Wilson's cousin. Did you work with him? I didn't work with Richard, but he was from Dunlop Street in Greenock. He is from Dunlop Street in Greenock. Oh my goodness, this is... Hello? You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello, Scotty. Hello? Who's that? It's Numpty Num Heed. Oh, Numpty Heed. About time you phoned. This phone rang far too long, Scotty. I'm disappointed in you. Numpty Heed, there's nothing we can do. Everybody's trying to get through to the internet. Phone in. There's another call in just as we speak. And there's oh, another yeah. one. Listen, so, you sorry. know, see what you've started. Aye, but listen, you know it was Gwyneth Guthrie that played Mrs. Mark. Gwyneth Guthrie, a lovely, lovely lady and still with us. Absolutely. Now, I've still not decided what I'm going to have for lunch, Scotty. Oh, right. What did you have in? Did you have a bit of haggis in? No, but I had my tea, but I've still not had my lunch. Oh, you haven't had your lunch yet? Oh, mate, that's real Chick Murray stuff. <laughs> There you are. Now, listen, Alexander Brothers. Yes. Now, you can have one of them's away and one's still here. One's still with us and one's away. That's correct. The, the one that plays the accordion, he's still here. Right, he's still with us. Was it Tom uh, that passed well, away? I well, I can't mind who's who, Scotty. Right. I'm just getting them as Alexander Brothers. Yes, wonderful, wonderful performers, lovely people. Anyway, listen... I'm away because you've got more phone calls to take. I've got more phone calls than up to eat and I've more to do than waste my time enjoying myself talking to you. Indeed. <laughs> that's Good your bye. Eat. See you, la la. There we are, that's same. John Boy from Port Glasgow. How are we, Scotty Sir? We are Dinky Dude, John Boy. Who's this? Hello, you're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hello. Hello. Hi, Scotty. It's Keith. The Keith. Bus driver. How, How lovely to hear from you. Keith, did you get your video? Uh, I did get it, yes. Thanks very much. Like, right. I think I was doing the wrong thing, but I did go into YouTube. Uh -huh. and eventually got it, so I've downloaded it and I've sent it about um, to, to 400 people. So they're, they're all texting me back and they're all... What are you doing or not? What are you doing or not? <laughs> Fantastic. I love it. You get that sent round there and tell 10 right. to tell the, 10. The thing I was just calling about, mind you say to me, you should do a certain type of um, bus. Yes. Um, I said it was a... Uh, a Dennis. Um, yes. No, I was thinking of um, the... Um, the fire trucks. Yes, the fire, fire trucks. The, the free fire wheel fire was fire the fire Daimler. Fire. Yeah, you're actually quite right because um, the the Dennis was taken out in 1919. Oh, it was like um, the council at the time. Yes. The Lothian buses. So it's always. Hang, hang on two seconds. I'm just going to have to say goodbye to my beautiful, beautiful TikTokers. There they go. Love the TikTokers. We just had to say goodnight to the TikTokers because do you know what's happened, Keith? We're right out of yeah. time. Oh, jeez, I must have to try and... Will you um, try and come on earlier? Because I, I want to talk buses. Yes, yeah, so I'll have to try and get on before Kareem. Love you to bits, you will do. <laughs> You're a top man, Keith, and we'll catch up soon. Listen, I'll give you a call. Um, it might be Monday now, won't it? Monday night, that would be great. Yeah. Nine o'clock yeah, till ten. Because I've got loads and loads of things for you. 
I want to hear the lot, Keith. I am yours. Okay, you're a brilliant man. God bless you. So are you. Night, night, la. All the best.